So this week's project is going to be to upgrade the panels on the solar tracker. Uh, right now it's got four 100 watt panels on it. I'm going to change it out for three 200 watt panels. So I'll pick up 200 additional watts doing that. Uh, the idea is to hopefully make it better in the cloudy days uh, it, because I don't really need a lot of power, a lot of additional power on the sunny days here. We got plenty of that. Um, but I've been putting this one off for a while just because I've been, I'm going to have to drag uh, a lot of panels around. Uh, the 200-watt the panels are kind of heavy. And, and uh, as sick as I've been, I'm um, just starting to feel better now. And I uh, figure that uh, since I feel a little bit better, it's a good time to start that project. Unfortunately, the new screws that I got, I thought were the same size as these, but longer, are actually not the same. So they don't fit the nuts. So I don't like to go to town if I can avoid it. So I decided to do what I always do here in that kind of situation and modify what I've got. So I'm going to go ahead and drill these out so they're the right size. I'm going to tap them for the new uh, size bolt. And uh, I just have to do that eight times. And I should be able to move on with the project. Right, so more. All right, all the old panels are off, and I have modified uh, the mount so that they'll accept the larger screws will go through, and all of the spring nuts which no longer have springs on them, have been uh, changed over so that they can accommodate the larger screws, drilled and tapped. I just got this naked tracker and all the panels in the back of the pickup to put on, so. All right, so I just checked and it's making power. 600 watts uh, of array, 600 watt array, and it was making 499. So uh, we're doing pretty good. Just seems to barely clear the tires when it seemed all the way west. I actually had to move a bunch of them around a bit. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more, but. Uh, Pretty much good. I'm not real happy with the arrangement I had to go with. On the end here, you can see I had to put a block under it. I don't know if I'm gonna maybe take these blocks and uh, make a groove in them, probably, so that the, uh, the mount there, the bottom of the mount there, will fit into the into the uh, piece of aluminum. So I'll probably do that. I'll just take them off. I'll make a uh, I'll make a spare. And uh, I'll take them off one at a time, cut the groove, and uh, replace them. So that'll make them a little bit more stable. And uh, I won't slip around in case there's uh, a little wind or whatever like there is actually at the moment. But 
it's a lot more surface area. You can see the size difference between those panels and those panels. Those are 200 watt panels. And those are 100 watt panels. So that means that uh, with the three, I'm getting 600 watts instead of the 400 watts I was getting with the four. And these are much better panels as well. So hopefully these will produce a little bit better than the others. And, uh, We'll get a little bit more power earlier in the day and a little bit more power later in the day. I got these new locks here. So I'm going to need to figure out how much of a groove I'm going to need to cut. So probably about a six and a half millimeter groove in that block just for that bracket to sit down into the groove a little bit and it looks like I'm going to need it to be oh, about the same the edge of the groove needs to be about five millimeters from the edge of the block about 5.1 so about five millimeters from the edge of the block Looks pretty much perfect. Nice little groove right where that bracket is going to sit. Lock it together. Now just do three more of these and we'll be good. There we go. Nice slot milled in the block. Only took a few minutes on the mill. Now it's locked into that bracket a little bit better, so we won't have any kind of you know slippage going on if these panels shift a little bit. I'll keep that block engaged with that bracket. So now I'll just take the one I just pulled out of there. Mill is still set up for the size, so I'll just drop it in, make my groove, come back, change the next one, next one, and the next one until I have all four of those changed out all right so there's the, the new array up there aiming at the sun it's about 4 35 so we got a little bit of sun left That's the 600 watts as opposed to 400 watts that was on there before, so hopefully we'll get more power out of it. Mostly looking for more power on a cloudy day, because we got plenty of power on a sunny day. So we'll see how she goes.